Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 14 of Who's Gimmick Is Here I. I'm of course your host of the show, Tim Ross, and well, I've got a trick because we're going in a new direction as the first match of tonight will be Roy Vega taking on Dude Lesnar. And well, you may be wondering, so if I'm not used to this, we normally don't know the gimmicks before they come out. Well, I will explain all in a second as, well, here is Roy Vega and... Oh, God damn it, Lily, it's because it's stupid. Stuff from Cambodia, he's not called Sugar Bush. He's called Roy Vega. Shut up, Miguel, I need to explain stuff. But, of course, Who's Gimmick is now in a new direction of having three matches a week. And we even have an opening here at Super Fight Night. And, well, it's the same... Points rules apply. Pitfall one point, submission two points, and DQ cannot win half of the points. But the three matches a week is gonna make things very interesting as we get ready for Rivega's opponent. And there he is. There is Dude Lester. Uh, okay, the sixties things kind of make sense, but Candy Man, he's Dude Lester. Shut up, Gerald! God damn it! But now here comes Dude Lesnar, and well, as always, dancing his way to rank, looking ready. You know, you get to see three special matches a week, and look, guys, I don't want to talk about what happened at the end of last week, but microphone got cut out. Some weird orange thing with cuts all on it, and green crap coming out of it. It attacked poor Seth Ryder last week. And I don't know how, what's that, but well, Seth Ryder, he's out of action for an unknown amount of time, but the poor guy, he is quite badly injured of a deadly concussion. But well, let's move on with that, and these two look ready for this matchup, but let's get it underway. And well, Miguel, shut up, I want to commentate. Damn it. Well, a clean break there. He's simply from, reminding him from that he's Dude Lesnar and Ryan Vega there. Good lord, three just quickly. straight chops there to the chest. He's pressing all the right buttons now. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. And oh, a punch to back of the head, and uh, no one cares. One just you know would have great matches. The only reason you have a job here. It's because, you Why know, somehow Lillian has a job here. She demanded that you three come with her. Goddamn Mexican commentary. Hope so you get someone that's put for your table here tonight. You That'll be hilarious. Do they dislike each other? I mean, I don't see anim animosity between each other. It's not like they're in some sort of your know, big convoluted build build up feud, but well, dude, let's know with a a discount attitude adjustment, and then. Nasty eye right there, dude. Lester sort of not following the rules there, decided to go against the rules. Oh, and a big flapjack face buster there by the Roy Vega. And these two have been rather back and forth with each other. A great matchup here on who's on Super Fight Night as part of who's giving Zimmer in front of a capacity crowd. And well, just so you know, as you should always check out, well, you'll be uh, watching this on our YouTube anyway, at NSS Crew, but don't forget to check out our other videos, like LAW, the show case main event last night on our Twitch channel, and Superstars the night before. On our Twitch channel, not underscore stop underscore sport. And oh, look at that. Ryan Vega tried for a kick and do less and just shrugged it off like it was nothing. And don't forget about that. As anyone, even do less, that could hit the Bulgarian leg sweep. But Ryan Vega there, big back body drop. Reversal there. 
Of course, don't forget about our Twitter account. Go follow that NSS365. And don't forget about our Facebook page as well, Crew365. No one cares about facial reconstructive surgery, Gerald. Damn it. What a nice jawbreaker there. But dude, Lester, on to Rivega. This has been quite a back and forth match. Gotta love it. Oh, the big bulldog there. Double handed bulldog there. By dude, Lester, and he's going for the pitfall. Could this be it? No, not quite. Rivega still alive in this one. No, look at, oh, maybe thinking of a scoop slab, but no, Rivega, too quick for him. And, oh, Cobra Clutch, he's got a Cobra Clutch locked in. But no, dude, let's not fight it out of it. Well, take your Rivega to the corner, I said, oh no, he could be setting up for it. We know what's coming. Dude, Lesnar, who's gimmick special? It's the big who's gimmick special. On two, and no. My god, how did Rivega survive the who's gimmick special? As the back of two Lesnar's Moticia there says, oh, have mercy. And Rivega, a big back breaking there. Oh, he's set up for it. He's calling for it. Is he gonna hit it? Meat hook spin kick. Hits the big meat hook spin kick. For what I agree, one, this could be over. No! Dude, Lester kicks out after getting hit with the meat hook spin kick. My god! Well, what a matchup this has been! And well, the short attack of there. Dude, let's call it, go for, well, a pin, but no. That's not gonna put away Rivega. Oh, I need that. Oh no, dude, let's reverse all again. Oh god, don't tell me he wants to do another Who's gimmick special. No, does seem like it. Rave get into the tree of woe. He is stuck there. What a dude, Lesnar got planned here. Just a boot into the face of Rivega. A knockdown, drag out brawl, complete with a big stomp. Yeah, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. Yes, they are pulling out all the stops in this one. Go for the pad. No. There's Not no over yet. And oh, a drop he's kick there right by Ryan Laker, and he's in control of this one. Hey, oh, and another Cobra Clutch locked in. Is Dude Lesser going to tap out to a Cobra Clutch? Ryan Laker has the Cobra Clutch, but no. Ryan Laker, no, sorry, Dude Lesser gets the outside. He is frustrated. He can't let that happen because. Oh, he gets caught by Rivega. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. And then just, oh, Rivega, why does go for a punch there? But no, dude, let's it allow it. Oh, why does go for a suplex? But no, Rivega reversed it. And a super kick. That's it. It's over. I knew it. And Rivega. Here's your winner here tonight after the big super kick. And well, Rivega picks up the points. No, it's Rivega. It's not Sugar Push. Shut up, Alien. Shut the hell up. And well, Rivega, your winner here tonight. And what's it stop for him next? And well, here is your next matchup, as it is going to be Tag Team Action Extreme Rules. As, well, I'm not going to say their names, because you don't know them yet. But once the first team's been shown and announced, we know who's in the match, but what's their name? 
And it is the Lucha Demons. And I'll explain why this is Extreme Rules. Oh god damn it, Lillian. But the reason these rules are happening is basically normal matches take too damn hell long. And also, the rules are if you get the pinfall victory or submission victory as the tag partner, you'll get either one point or two point corresponding to it. But if you're on a tag partner who doesn't get the pinfall but you're a winner, you only get half of a point. And well, here come the next team, and oh god, I'm having a seizure! Oh god, oh god, god, god why did they do that? Uh, why? Okay. That's not their names. They're called the Natural Blizzasters. Uh, oh, Natural Blizzasters. I don't, I don't, oh god damn it, I think I get it. And here comes Earth Blake and Burfoon of the Natural Blizzasters to take on Finn Cara and Kane Listo of the Lucha Demons. Now, also, each week we will have a tag team match, but it won't always be official tag teams. Sometimes superstars will have to team up with each other. Must to have the tag team match, as we know of tag teams like Remember, we have the Natural Blizzasters and the Lucha Demons. We also have the Harlem Villains. But I can't think of other teams. But nope, the Natural Blizzasters look ready for this one. And I've already spoiled one name. Damn it! Oh well. The Harlem Villains. And here are, well, your tag team matchup. Here is your tag team matchup. Super Fight Night Extreme Rules. One more time, I will go through the rules. If, as the tag team, the winning tag team, here's the rules for the winning tag team. If you're the partner who gets the pinfall, you get a point. If you get a submission, you get two points. Like a singles matchup. But if you don't get the pinfall or submission, but you're on the winning team, you, of course, you get the half of the point. Which is why this is extreme rules to not count it for DQ on count. I said, oh my god! Finkara powerbombed onto the ladder. The back of his head hit in the ladder. And, oh, that gets hit in the face with the ladder. This is already brutal as hell. We're only like two minutes into the match. God! This is gonna be a night we will never forget. And well, that's what you can expect from Extreme Bulls. Extreme and oh god! Kalisto hitting Murph. No, Earth Blake in the back of the head with a ladder. But nope. Earth Blake gets a ladder off him, and then Kalisto smacked in the face. And this could be very difficult to call this action. And then a lovely suplex there by Earthblake onto Finn Cara. No, not yet. Not over yet. I would be shot if it was over that quickly, but crazy things that happened. Oh, the strength of Kalisto throwing Murph, no, Earthblake off of him. Oh, and Murphoon gets hit with a ladder and then in the knee. They say this is getting extreme as hell. Oh, and it looked like Murphy wanted to drop click a ladder and he epically failed. Another hit with a ladder, and this ladder's just getting used to hell. And oh no, but about no. Kaylee, so not using the baseball bat there for some reason. And ooh, it looked like Vincar came down a ladder after that failed drop kick attempt. And a big running power slam there. And is this it? No, it's not. Vinkar is still alive. And a big running kick there by Burfoon. He's going for the pinfall. 
No, not quite. At least no magic to kick out there and the Lucha Demon's still alive and a oh, version of a blue thunderbomb there by Earth Blake and Oh god, Earth Blake he's climbing up top and wait a minute, the food set up for a brain buzzer, frog splash, and appeared in Kaylee, so can't do anything, cause he gets pre busted on the ladder. And your winners are the natural bliss asters. And well, great match up there, very extreme. And Earthblake picks up the point, while Smurfoon picks up half of a point. What was that random thing about? I heard a ding! But well, this is your bit next matchup. It'll be Big E Corbin versus Dean Dust. Of course, all I hear it in parts unknown is every show. And well, here he comes. Here comes Big E Corbin. Making his way to the ring. And he just waits for his music to drop. And who's Aaron Corby? I don't know that person. Oh, well, his name just doesn't fit. Okay. And oh, God, it gets very bright. Oh no, not Lillian! Oh god damn it, he's not from Guatemala and he's not called Big Nasty, he is Biggie Corbin! Shut up, Gerald, no one cares. It. Well, Biggie Corbin, he looks ready for this match. The cold, icy stare of Biggie Corbin. And well, he will want to try and hit the end of New Days here tonight. No, no, it's gonna get bright again, isn't it? Ah, my eyes! And well, Biggie Corbin, he looks ready for this one. And here comes his opponent. Oh no, not Lillian! Oh god damn it, Lillian! He's called Dean Dust, not Dean Dean. Well, Dean Dust, he certainly looks ready for this one. The crazy man it is, Dean Dust. From the sixth dimension. No wait, I, I apparently that's wrong. He's from the sex dimension. Oh god, that sounds horrible. Here is, of course, Dean Dust. And well. D Dust, he does look ready for this one along with Biggie Corbin and well we're about to get this match underway here. And ding ding ding, the ref Fagio Aguero gets our main event. Ready to set Biggie Corbin already got the outside not sure what to think, maybe he's confused by D Dust. Well, of course he doesn't. These guys, they want the one point or they want the two points. They'd much rather have the two points, but I've never seen a submission victory. Here is part of who's gimmick, because anyway, it's like a some kind of impossibility. Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. Shut up, Juan. Commentary should all about be about me and in my private booth. But well, Biggie Corbin taking down D Dust there off the trip, bringing him back up into and into the tie up here. Comes out ahead here. Yeah, and going into the, the ropes here. Shut up, you two! I'm trying to commentate a match. 
There were a clean break there by both these men, surprising to say the least. This is a and oh, He's kitchen like sink no into the He's gut there, that kitchen there. sink knee into the gut. Indeed, Dusty has early offense, but just as I say that, Biggie Corbin reversing to have a big back body drop. And trying to gut punch it deep and not working it. Not just punch it away at Dean Dust. This is what makes him so dangerous. Cole, what's he got in mind? And no, look at that impressive. By Biggie Corbin changed his momentum in mid and landed and Oh the nerve! The nerve of Biggie Corbin to do such a move to Dean Dust. And that just smashing his head into the canvas there. And well, Biggie Corbin here's in full control of Gorga for a back to back. No! D Dust with the exact same move Biggie Corbin pulled off. Switching his body mid air or into a pretty much a cross body. And then a big jaw breaker there. Oh, now just choking the life out of Biggie Corbin. And Dean Dust, well, he's going to try to do anything to get a win here tonight. Oh, and just a knee strike to the face there. And, oh, lovely suplex there. Well, D does. He did have the early advantage with Mickey Corbin, but no, D does reverse it again. Very impressive. And these two don't like each other, and we're gonna find out. Oh, and I love it. Just bringing him down there. We're looking at Almost like a face mask. And oh, knee strikes to the face there with Mickey Corbin, but D does to D does. He's in firm dominant control right now. And a big back suplex there. And well, what is an oh no, Biggie Corbin with the the discount attitude adjustments. And now just a striking game by Biggie Corbin, but he couldn't keep it up. And this could be all she wrote. Oh, and hits the big kick there. Um, I think of a name for it at all. No, still alive is Biggie Corbin. We're looking at complete domination here. I don't know, maybe the Rene kick works. I don't know why I'd call it the Rene kick, but taking Biggie Corbin to the corner. What has he got planned here? Wait a minute. We saw this in our first match. We're going to see it in our main event. Biggie Corbin. No, stop. Biggie Corbin's getting set up, and D Dust's going to hit it. Who's gimmick special? It's the big who's gimmick special, and that could be it. Is this it? It is! And Dean Dust wins with the who's gimmick special. His name's Dean Dust, you idiot! Shut up, Lydia! Shut up, all of you! And well... That's going to be the end of the show. Thanks for watching, but well, what a matchup by D Dust there. The big victory. Very impressed there by D oh, Well, what the hell is this? Oh, oh god, that thing's back! Oh no, what the hell is this thing doing here? What the hell is this music? Oh god, we get a close up look at it. No, why is it here? What's its agenda? What the hell is it? This is not a gimmick. This is whose gimmick is it anyway. This is an any kind of gimmick. This is... I don't know if we saw the nameplate earlier. Why well, even got a nameplate, but... From what so much... Oh god, Test Zero. What does that even... The prototype? I need some notes. I need updates. What the hell's going on? Dean, get the hell, Dean Dust, get the hell out of there. For your own safety, get the hell out the ring. I don't know what all those numbers meant. I mean, last week, 
when this thing it's had to hurt those numbers but the end is here and what the hell this thing's run to ring and Dean does try and back off and oh god what's Fago Grant did he just ring a bell oh god what the hell is this thing and, oh my god please please stop this thing why is it attacking DDoS? Why did it attack Zeph Ryder? What someone get security out here? I didn't think this could get any worse. After this match, it won't look like they were in a fight. It'll look like they were hit by a car. It looked like DDoS was hit by a car, not Tess Sarah. What the hell is this? And DDoS just looking on. I think his vision's all glazed off. He doesn't know what to do. Is that. And oh, Kendo stick it. Oh my god! Please! Please stop this! The humanity! And what even is this thing? Why is it all orange and green? Where did it come from? I need answers. God. No, stop this thing, please! And, oh my god, and Dean Dust busted open! And Dean Dust is down and out, and oh god. Hey, hey, get away from. Hey! No, 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 please! Don't. I know I said I wanted someone to. Someone to go for the table to shut these idiots up, but I did actually mean it! And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good. Oh, God. Big uppercut there, but oh, God. And now we saw this last week. Oh, God, the strike for the big uppercut. Someone, please stop this monstrosity. We're security to stop this thing. Oh God, what's it calling for? Please don't say it's going to work on to Seth Ryder last week. No, 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 please don't do this. Oh God! He can have a broken neck, he can have a concussion. It's, it's not done, this thing isn't done. Why? Why would it stop? No, don't do any more, please. Great, tremendous gladiators here in... Oh god, no, no, Tessero, don't do it, don't do it, no! Stop! Stop this! Oh my god, no, no, pop up! Oh god, no, 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 no! Holy shit! These fans are really charming, we are awesome! Tessero's leaving, and Dean Dust, are you okay? Please, say something, do something, and... That's the end of the show, and well, I've been your host, Tim Ross, and I'll see you for the next episode, but someone get DDoS some help, please!